Welcome to my basic beginners starters GNUplot tutorial. First thing you want to do, download GNUplot from this homepage. You can go to download, check out tutorials, or get down to brass tacks. Download from SourceForge. Hey, did it not open? There we go. 6.3 is what you want if you have Windows because it has the executable. Download this, run this, run the setup. It will install very straightforward. 6.4 um, and 6.5 they only have uh, this tar file which if you have Linux you know go for it because you can do that but they don't have it executable for Windows so now that you have GNU plot let's get started let's set our labels you always want to get in the habit of setting your x axis and y axis labels and let's be uncreative. Counts versus time. Now this is just a basic plot with not really any modifications or settings rather. Using one, two, three. Now I'm plotting this with my y error bars. There it is. Uh, looks pretty ugly because the first and last points they're on the axes there, because it uh, automatically adjusts. Actually, so I'm gonna show you what the data file looks like. Actually, that it. So this is my x. Oops. There's my x. There's my y, and this is this is my error. So uh, this is the format that your input file should look like. You can. It does. Uh, Excel. Like spreadsheet software, they usually do a pretty good job of uh, exporting to a TXT or something like that, or CSV, I think, which you can also, it doesn't have to be a TXT, obviously, and it will import it with uh, delimited by tabs like that. Uh, so let's adjust this plot. Let's first plot it. Let's change our title. Now title is the series name of the data. So we'll call it experimental data. See that? Looks better. Now let's change our range of x values from 0 to 6. Change our y values from 0 to 60. Plot it again. Looks a lot better. Whoops. There we go. Now let's fit the data to a function. And a parabolic function. Now that's where GNUplot comes in great. Oh, I forgot you to guess an initial value. What's great about GNUplot is that you can fit data to any function that you specify, which I don't really see in spreadsheet stuff these days, or any days for that matter. Yeah, A. So that's what I'm solving for here. And it iteratively solves for it. There is its first iteration, you know, it starts with 10, now it's almost 4 down to 2.73 and then the next value is almost the same so it stops there's the error on that value so it's this plus or minus this so you might want to put that in any sort of lab report you would write or something of that nature so now let's plot our function uh, let's give it a title oh look I can change my color scheme it's not. Perfect. Boom. As the exponential. Or sorry, not exponential, the parabolic function. Um, now we want to plot it this time with the data. So what I did there with that comma was so that when I pressed enter it would go to the next line like this. It, it didn't just execute this like this, so it's plotting this. And then I'm going to plot it with this using same data. 
uh, and then specify the title. We call this extra data. And then I say with y error bars. You always want to put error bars at the end, or else it will throw an error. So there's the data on the same curve from the same uh, graph as the fit curve. So that looks pretty bad because the data doesn't actually follow that distribution. So let's make this worse. Actually, let's make it a parabolic plus another unknown coefficient times an exponential. Let's reset A to 10. Guess B is also 10. And we'll fit it again. So I'm pressing up on my arrow to just like go back to previous commands that I've entered in. So yeah, it solved for A, B, and there's the errors which are pretty large. Um, I, didn't, I didn't show you that. Comma B solves for both. It's not solving for X because F is or X is what it's a function of. Uh, so let's replot that and see how it looks. There's that. And there's that. There, that looks terrible. So when it goes up, is is that's pretty alright. Oh, actually, sorry, I shouldn't have done that. I need to show you guys this. So there's our plot. Now if I want to copy it, there you go. Now I've copied this uh, image. And I can I can either like paste it into a word processor or something of that nature, or I can make it into an image file so that I can import it to uh, a TEX, the T or the PDF that I'm going to generate in my TEX. So let's save it. You know, there's probably a much better way to do this instead of using Paint, but that's. That's how I do it. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I need to show you guys. All right, have fun fitting.